All right, everybody, this is Danny Brown. Welcome to English 1A. This is day seven. Now in day six, you took your midterm test. Did you get your midterm test? I sent it to you. I corrected it very carefully, and I uh, tried to show you your mistakes, and I hope that you learned something. And most of you did a good job. A few of you struggled, but most of you did a good job. And so I'm very glad. Now, uh, last class, day five, before the test, we studied the present perfect just a little bit. And we're going to study that a little bit more today, and you're going to practice have you ever. And I'm going to show you how to change how you ever questions into conversation. Very important skill that you need to learn. Okay, I believe I showed this on day five, but we need to study it again because we're going to use it today for a little bit for your homework. Two past tenses. Now, there are two past tenses. Actually, there's three because we have past progressive. But, okay, we have the regular past tense here. It means at that time. I worked in a factory last year. Now, last year means a very certain time. And that's key with past tense. With past tense, my mind is thinking of that time. And I would say I work in a factory, worked in a factory last year. Present perfect is an unclear time. I don't say the time where I'm not exactly thinking about that time. I have worked in a factory for many years. Now, my mind is not traveling back to a certain time. Okay, that's a key there. Now, I went to Disneyland last week. Now, my mind is thinking last week, I'm telling a story. Storytelling is regular past tense. So we use went. We don't say, I have gone to Disneyland last week. Why? Because last week is a certain time and I'm telling a little story. And so with that, we use past tense. I went to Disneyland last week. Did you eat curry at Disneyland? Okay, B is thinking about that time last week at Disneyland. Okay, did you, if you want, you can say, did you eat curry at Disneyland last week? Okay, or you can just cut it and say, did you eat curry at Disneyland? Because we already said last week. All right, now, um, I went to Disneyland last week. Did you eat curry at Disneyland? Okay, now here's the present perfect. What is that? It's curry. Have you ever eaten curry? Okay, so B, person B is shocked. What do you mean, what is that? It's curry, of course. Mochidon, caridas. Have you ever eaten curry? All right, now this word ever, Ever means any time in the past. It's not a clear time, all right? Have you ever eaten curry? Yes, I have. Or yes, I've eaten curry. Or yes, I have eaten curry three times. Now notice, this is not a clear time. This is not a clear time. It's not a story. And this is three times. Three times is not a clear time. It's this time, that time, that time. But we didn't say when. All right. Have you ever eaten curry? Yes, I have. Now, if you want to tell a story, and we're going to practice that in our homework, what do you do if you want to tell a story? You tell the time. Yes, I have. Now, you say a time word. Last week, or two years ago, or when I was a child. Okay, those are time words. Last week, I ate curry with my family. It was so hot, but I liked it. Now notice that this is a story. Last week I ate curry with my family. It was so hot, but I liked it. Story, with a story, we use pres a regular past tense. Now, these questions, have you ever, um, excuse me, I have, have you every, okay, have you ever eaten curry? Uh, yes, I have. Last week I ate curry with my family. It was so hot. Let's try it again. Now, have you 
every inquiry. What, what, if, what if the answer is no, okay? Okay, now see, when someone asks you, have you ever questions, they want to make conversation. Have you ever gone to uh, see the baseball stadium in Tokyo? They want to talk. They don't want you to say no or just yes. They want you to talk. And, and if you want conversation with someone, you need to take have you ever questions and change them into stories, okay? Now, what if the answer is no? Have you ever eaten curry? No. Okay, are you finished? Is there nothing we can say? Okay, we say no, but. No, but. have you ever eaten curry? No, but. And then you give a story of a related idea. Related is kanke ga aru, a related idea. Okay. Have you ever eaten curry? No, but I have eaten shark. Okay. Uh, shark is not related to curry, but shark is a strange thing and it makes an interesting story. Have you ever eaten curry? No, but I've eaten shark. This is true. This is Danny's story. When, I, when my wife and I lived in Texas, we went to Red Lobster. I ate the shark, but it tasted like old pork. It was terrible. Oh my goodness. Now notice the time is when my wife and I lived in Texas. That's the time. And then we changed to past tense. We went, I ate, but it tasted. Okay. So we can always make a have you ever story, a question into a story. And we have to use those past tense words that I taught you in day five to help make past tense stories. Let me show you. Okay, this is, day, this is a handout, day five words that use present perfect tense. That's a handout. And we studied this and we studied when to use present perfect tense. Uh, now, present perfect tense is words like ever, since, during, lately, okay? But past can be words like at, at four o'clock, when I was in Tokyo, uh, but, but this means I'm not in Tokyo now. Now I'm in Kofu or I'm somewhere else. During the war, okay, the war's finished, so it's a finished time, all right? Here's some more examples. Uh, have you ever eaten curry? No, but when I was in England, I ate a shepherd's pie. It's a kind of a meat pie, okay? Uh, have you ever eaten shark? No, but at three o'clock yesterday, I went to Amamiya restaurant and I had octopus, okay? Um, have you ever been to a live concert? No, but on Sunday we went to Disneyland. It was a great time. We saw Mickey Mouse and I shook Mickey Mouse hand. Okay, this is all past tense. You start with this time word. In high school, uh, that is a time word. Uh, have you ever smoked a cigarette? Yes. In high school, my friend gave me a cigarette and I smoked it one time. Actually, Danny has never smoked a cigarette, but that's a good, uh, good uh, story. Three days ago, that's another time word. Have you ever gone swimming in a river? Yes, three days ago, I swam in the Arakawa. Okay. All right, so these words uh, help you to change a have you ever into a past tense story. Now, let me show you our work that I want you to do um, for just a minute. All right, so here is the have you ever drill. And this is a new classwork for you. You need to do this for class today. Um, have you ever, write, each have you ever questioned? 
then write the answer to each. Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. <clears throat> After you write it all, check the answers on page two. This will be part of your quiz next week. Okay, now, I like to do this in speaking class and, and in speaking homework, or speaking during class, but we can't do speaking much with our students. So I want you to write, bake a cake. All right, so you write, have you ever baked a cake? Now this is PDF file, so it's easy to do. If you can't do PDF file, I've given you a Microsoft Word doc file, and so you can do it there. Have you ever baked a cake? Oh, we need a question mark, and then the answer. Yes, I have, okay? Or if, if you have not, you write, no, I haven't. All right, now, I want you to do that for each of these. Have you ever broken a bone? No. Oh, Danny? Yes, I have. Danny has broken a bone. Okay. All right. Now, uh, you need to do this for all of these. All right. And then send those to me by uh, Google Classroom today. All right. Send those to me by Google Classroom today. Do all of these, all of these, and I want you to be careful. Remember, we've been touching, we've been studying eat, ate, eaten, bake, baked, baked, break, broke, broken, build, built, built, catch, caught, caught. Okay, so we want to use the correct form. Have you ever caught a fish? Yes, I have. All right. Now, after you finish all of these, here are the answers, and you can quickly check your answers if you're not sure. Now, after that, I want you to choose. It says choose three questions above. Okay, three questions above. Any of these questions, any of these questions is okay. Pick three. And make a story out of each question. Remember to ask the have you ever question. Okay, have you ever eaten shark? Then answer with yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Then say a time word and tell a story about your experience. Okay, have you ever eaten a shark? Your answer, yes, I have. About 15 years ago, I was in Red Lobster. The waiter told me that the shark was very good, so I ordered it, but it was terrible. So the waiter brought me some different fish. All right, so you choose three questions. Uh, let's see. Have you ever touched an elephant? Okay, Danny. Here's Danny's. Have you ever touched an elephant? Yes, I have. About, let's see, how much was it? It was about 20 years ago. Okay, now notice, 20 years ago, is your time word. You've got to have a time word. Yes, I have. Now you want to tell a story. Put your time word. About 20 years ago, I went to Thailand with my family. I, my son, rode an elephant. I touched the elephant and his hair was very hard, katai, very hard hair. The elephant's skin was also very uh, tough. Tough means hard, okay? All right, there's my story. Yes, I have. And then about 20 years ago is your time and then your story. Now you can have a you can have a no answer if you want. Okay? Let's see. Um what would we do? What's something I've never done? Drink a beer. Ah ha ha ha. Okay. Danny, have have you ever drunk a beer? Okay. No, I haven't. But one time 
I was in a train and someone gave me a drink. I tasted it and it was lemon sour with alcohol. I didn't like it, so I threw it away. That is the only time I have ever tasted alcohol. This is a true story of Danny. I don't drink beer. I don't drink alcohol. Never drunk a beer in my life. But one time someone gave me a drink. I drank it. Ugh, it had alcohol. And I said no. And I threw it away. Okay, this is Danny's true story. And I want you to write three true stories and send them and send your answers here to me by Google Mail next uh, uh, today before the class is over. All right, thank you. All right, we're going to continue on now. Uh, here, just a minute. Let me fix something. Okay, we have studied these irregular verb forms. This is from day three irregular verb forms, a PDF file that I gave you. And we have studied all these words until the word rise, rose, risen. Today we're going to study run, ran, run. And uh, we need these for the present perfect, Genzai Kanjo K, and we need them for the passive voice, Judo Tai. Okay, so uh, let's continue to study. Now, this is the first one. Here we go. Run, ran, run. Okay, Hashiru. Say, said, said. EU. Now, said is, let me see if I can know. Uh, 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 give you a little writing here okay said is s e d okay now the spelling is s a i d but the pronunciation is e said say said said all right so please get that pronunciation all right the next we have c saw seen Sell, sold, sold. Send, sent, sent. E, e, e. Se, se, se. Set, set, set. That's oku. Shake, shook, shaken. Okay, shake is when you take something and shake. So a milkshake is when you take cold milk and ice and other things and and you shake it. And that's how you make a milkshake. Okay, let's continue. Um, shake, shook, shaken. Show, showed, shown. Now this is strange. It's E-D and then shown with the N. Shut, shut, shut. Now this sound is uh. It's the English schwa sound. It's like ah. Uh, it's like ah, uh, and then mouth calls ah, uh, uh, uh. Shut, shut. Okay. Now we have sing, sang, sung. Sit, sat. Sat, sleep, slept, slept. If you're at home, you should repeat these with me. It'll help you remember them. Speak, spoke, spoken. Spend, spent, spent. Okay. Stand, stood, stood. Swim, swam, swum. Take, took, taken. Teach, taught, taught. 
Now, this is not taught. This is taught. I know your high school um, English class probably told you to say teach, taught, taught, but it's not. In American English, it's taught, taught, teach, taught, taught, like that. Teach, taught, taught. We actually say, ah, it's this. I got, I got Katakana. How'd I get Katakana there? Okay, Tato. All right. Teach, taught, taught. All right. Now, next we have tell, told, told. Now, the difference between say and told is very important. Okay. Say is with a per with uh just the quotation john said hi okay but told is the person you speak to john told mary hi so it's always told person i told my mother I want to go home. Or I said, I want to go home. All right, so that's told. Now, tear, tear is yabudu. Tear, tore, torn. Think, thought, thought. This is ah, 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 thought. Throw, through, thrown. Nageru. Understand, likai suru, wakaru. Understand, understood, understood. Wake, woke, woken. Wear, wore, worn. Win, one, one. Right, wrote, written. Okay, these are your words. You're gonna have a test over these from the word. Here we go, all the way up to run. There you go. From run to write, got it? From the word run down to write. You're gonna have a test next week. Please get ready for your test over these words. Okay. That'll be a quiz next week over these words. Okay, we're going to go on to chapter 19. I actually going to do chapter 18 and 19, but we're going to do 19 first. I like it better. I think it's more clear and we need to do 19 before we do 18. And I'm just going to read this page to you quickly and give you a little homework from it. I have done plus I did. Now these this is the present perfect, this is the past. And remember that present perfect, we don't say a clear time. We don't think about the time in the past. Uh, it's more like yata koto ga aru. But past, I did, is sono toki. Sore o yatta yo. Okay? And we're thinking about a certain time. Okay. Uh, by the way, Genzai uh, Kanyo K in English is present perfect. Tanjun Kako K is uh, Tanjun means simple past tense. Let me see if I can put that on for you so it'll help you. Let's see. Okay, Pre oops. present perfect tense and past. Okay, no. 
uh, I've got that. I'm going to put that right here. There you go. Present perfect is Genzai Kanyo K. Past tense is Kako K. All right. Now notice how that we use these. Uh, his car is dirty. He is washing his car. He has washed his car or his car is clean now. Now notice, this is moving in time. First, his car is dirty. Now he is washing. Now he has washed. This has washed. It's called present perfect. Why genzai kanyo? Now is that the ima genzai wa kanyo shita. It has been finished. We're not saying when he did it, just it's done. Yata koto ga, tada yata koto ga aru. Okay. Um, okay. Taiken dan de wa nai. They, number two, they are home. They are going out. They have gone out. Okay. Now, can we say these, they have gone out and he has washed his car with the past tense? We would usually say a time. Okay, his car was dirty. He was washing his car. He washed his car. He washed his car yesterday. That's how I would say it. I would give a time word. He washed his car yesterday. He washed his car last week. Or they went out at six o'clock. All right. Uh, so with the regular past tense, we're thinking of a certain time word. Now down here with B, I've lost my passport. We don't know the time. We have no idea when did I lose my passport. So I'm not telling a story. Now, if I tell a story, I will say, okay, I've lost my passport. Let me change here. Yesterday, I went to the airport and I had my passport. And I looked at it and put it in my pocket, okay? And then, I went to the immigration, that's Yukon, the immigration. And the man said, show me your passport. And I looked and I said, oh, my passport, I lost it. Okay, I'm telling a story about the time, all right? So when you tell the story, use the past tense. All right, here we go. Where's Rebecca? She's gone to bed. There's no certain time. We've bought a new car, okay? I didn't say when we bought it. It's not important. Tada, ano kurumo kata koto ga arasaiki. It's Rachel's birthday tomorrow. I haven't bought her a present, okay? Bob is away on vacation. Oh, where has he gone? Okay, we're not thinking of a certain time. Have you met my brother? That means uh, ever. Ever is not a certain time. I was very slow typist in college, but I've gotten faster. What time did he get faster? We don't know. There's no certain time. I've gotten faster. Where is your key? I've lost it. Now here, in uh, the book, it says that you can use these two the same, but I want to explain something to you. I'm going to do it right here by writing to you, okay? In traditional English grammar, we can only say, I've lost it. Or we can say, let me move this so you can see it. Yesterday I lost it. Okay, in traditional English grammar, if there's no time, we say I've lost it. If there's a time word like yesterday, we say yesterday I lost it. This is traditional grammar. But, but, In modern speaking 
many people are using past tense more like I lost it without a time word all right that is in modern speaking conversation uh, but it's not traditional grammar and so I don't want you to use it because it's easy to make a mistake okay all right now uh, so where's your key I've lost it equals I lost it is Peter here no he's gone home equals no he went home and we could say that, but it's really kind of dangerous grammar. It's better to say, where's your key? I lost it this morning. Where's Peter? Is Peter here? He went home two minutes ago. It's better to put a time word. We've bought a new car equals we bought a car, a new car. But it's better to put a time word. We bought a new car last week. All right. Now notice here for C, we have the time words yesterday. I lost my key yesterday. And you put the time word and so it's past tense and it's like a story. We cannot say I have lost my key yesterday. Okay, let me do that for you. We can say I lost my key yesterday. But we cannot say, I have lost my key yesterday. Okay, we cannot say that. Why? Because this is a time word. And you'd never use present perfect with a time word like that. All right? Now, uh, we bought a new car last week. We cannot say we have bought a new car last week. Now, we're going to do just a little bit of practice today. Let me show you. Okay, this handout is Day 7, Murphy's page 38. Just a minute ago, we did page, uh, excuse me, 39. A minute ago, we did page 38. But this time, we're doing page 39. And after you study page 38, which I just talked about, I just showed you, then you do 39. And I want you to use these words and write answers. Okay, she has washed her car. He, what is the answer? Do you know? The answer is he has closed the door here's close the door and there's no time word so we just say he has closed the door all right and try all these and here and here answer these and now the answers to these i have the answers to right here i'm going to give them to you and the answers are Okay. Right here's the answers, okay? Here's unit 19, has closed the door, all right? Here are all the answers. You can check your answers for what you're studying, okay? So, uh, so now that's your homework, okay? So after you watch this TV, or this video, you should, uh, do the in class just a minute okay, you should do the <clears throat> in class work which is day seven have you ever drill it's a handout and you write these answers here and yes i have no i excuse me ask write the questions have you ever questions yes i have no i haven't and then you think of three of these questions and you write uh your own question and your own answer and make it a story give a time word yes i have 
time word and a story. Or no, I haven't, and a time word and a story. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna erase these for you. All right, so that's the first thing you do. And you have to turn this paper in to me today before class time today. Okay, next, you're going to study the irregular verb forms that we have studied and from run to write, okay? And study those and be ready for a quiz. All right. And then you're going to study Murphy's um, let's see if I can get this on my computer. Murphy's, this is page 38. I think I'm going to put these three together. The page 38, 39, and the answers, I'm going to put them together as one paper. So you study the Murphy's and then you do the questions, which are, I can't find the questions here on page 39 of Murphy's, and you do these questions, all right? And then you check the answers, okay? With the answers that I give you, all right? And uh, be ready for a quiz over page 38 and 39 in the answers. All right, so you got a quiz over the irregular verbs, the quiz over page 38 and 39, and today's uh, Have You Ever Practice. All right, thank you very much, everyone. This is Danny Brown. I hope that you've enjoyed class. Um, don't eat shark. It tastes terrible, I promise you. Have you ever eaten shark? I hope not. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.